That's what it's about. The views going along this lake are absolutely epic. I'm not a morning person, but that I will get out of bed for. Bear sighting, not afraid of humans. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Look at the water. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. I was saying this van is an adventure van. It's the <laughs> Lovemobile. It is. So we had a fabulous night's sleep here. Thank you very much, guys. We it will. Was happy to have you. We'll see you before we leave the island. <laughs> epic people. Yeah, epic. absolutely epic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to see Thanks you. For coming. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> Thank you. Strathcona, here we come. So we're back in JB and this morning we're heading to Strathcona Park. Aunt Julia told us we cannot leave Vancouver Island without going to Strathcona Park. It's one of her favourite places, isn't it? Yeah. The weather is beautiful again for us this morning. It's early morning. It's just after eight o'clock. The sun's coming up. Blue skies and uh, we're looking forward to going to check out this park. We're going to hike to a uh, waterfall, uh, which people have told us is uh, lovely as well. So yeah, a nice day ahead. And before we left, uh, Linda and Clint, we got a beautiful sunrise. They also gave us the uh, leftover brisket from last night so we can have a little nibble for lunch. They put it in a nice bag for us. <laughs> it's so lovely. Honestly, we've got the coolest followers. You people, you're all very cool. Our community is the <laughs> best community ever. Exactly. Thank you very much. Petrol station again to fill up JB. Is it on your side? Uh, it's on my side. Yeah. JB definitely uh, uses more fuel than uh, than Trudy. And I know Trudy's a diesel, but yeah, we. I think she would have probably done it on one tank, what we've done. Whereas JB, we've filled up couple of three times this is the third time the third time there you go right quick fuel up okay we're all fueled up eighty dollars of fuel put in and uh, we're off to Strathcona Park we're just running parallel to the river here and uh, most of these cars are fishermen that are going to catch their salmon. The salmon are still running. It's going to be a beautiful drive this morning. Already there's these wonderful views through the trees of these lakes. Love, love these natural roads. This time in the morning with the sun just breaking through the trees and the uh, the sunlight hitting the water there. Whoa. Look at that. That's what it's about. See, I'm not a morning person, but that I will get out of bed for. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely beautiful. Wow. It's going to be a lovely drive. Aunt Julia, I think you're right and we're not even in the park yet. views going along this lake are absolutely epic look at this it's a little bit hazy this morning and uh, it's not normal morning mist it is actually smoke so they must have uh, some fires uh, somewhere nearby you can smell the smoke in the air this morning but the view is still absolutely epic I'm loving this Quick pit stop. Marianne's cold. She needs her hoodie on. It's really cold this morning. It is pretty cold, but while she's putting her hoodie on, here we go. The Upper Campbell Lake. That's where we are. I'm just going to have a wander down here because I reckon the view down here is going to look pretty epic. 
There you go, there's a motorhome parked up there. This would be uh, a good spot to sleep for the night, wouldn't it? Here we go, the view's coming. Look at this. That's what it's about. That's not a bad view, is it? Here on the island, Strathcona Park, guys. If you, uh, if you come to Vancouver Island, I would definitely recommend coming down here. Uh, Clint and Linda were saying that this, uh, this park is used for a lot of movies and are looking at the views here. You can see why, that's pretty epic. But the water's clear, the water is beautifully clear. This is where the road runs along, so it runs all the way along here and uh, carries on going all the way around for miles down these lakes uh, that which go off to, towards the south of the park this way which is where we're heading right now sun's just coming up over the hills there hoodied up oh nice trip the globe hoodie marianne look at that it's actually yours <laughs> i know yeah. it's mine you stole it I did. right let's go and find these waterfalls so this road is uh hugging the lake all the way down and they're looking down by the lakeside there's lots of little houses and cabins and some of them are lodges that you can stay in there's some campsites and it uh, looks like residential homes as well it says college there that's funny so although it's uh, really smoky this morning it actually makes it look a bit like morning mist and uh, it's giving us these wonderful views look at that doesn't that just feel like you're in the wild filming out of jb uh, i'm armed with the camera to get that shot as soon as there's a nice view but we've, uh, we've got to drive with the window open because it's a manual open window. So by the time I've opened the window, otherwise the view's gone. So we've got the hoodie up. Okay guys, I had to pull over to <laughs> look at that. Is that not one of the most beautiful views? I think Strathcona Park and San Joseph Bay have to be my favourite spots on the island for, uh, for beauty. roads are good but every once in a while there's uh, little holes like this one here where it's it's sunken sunken down it must be a constant battle yeah keeping the roads canada. maintained canada and alaska i think i've never seen so much trouble with like subsidence and yeah. it must be a real battle to keep these roads fighting mother nature every day there you go myra falls trail that's the one we're looking for so you should be able to park down here. There should be a uh, little car park, hopefully. A trailhead. Yeah, um, looking online, Myra Falls was uh, one of the most popular ones to hike to. So we thought we'd go to the most popular one. And I think, oh yeah, there's a field. Oh, I can see a person. It's a, one of the first people we've seen in the park. Okay, we're parked up and uh let's just have a look i don't think it's really long is that what it looks like look have at you got that. the bear spray no i don't have the bear spray marianne that's a, a sign saying be safe that's a very good idea walking time 45 minutes oh that's okay so we've got the lower falls and a, a viewpoint here look that's what it's gonna look like that looks pretty cool so if you're wondering why we went back and got the bear spray <laughs> there's a sign here that says bear sighting october the 5th 3 p.m lower falls 
not afraid of humans, came right to at the falls within five meters. So that shows that there's bears in the area. <laughs> so I'm armed with the bear spray on my belt. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Can't hear anything other than the noise of the water. Is this actually a footpath? Where does it go? Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. This must be the top of the falls. Oh, yeah, look. You can see the water coming down there. Oh, it's crystal clear. That's not a footpath though, Marianne, be careful. Okay, so that was the first path. Not really a path, there's a little one off the main path. So well, now we're, we're heading. We the water and we thought we'd sneak a peek. <laughs> we'd go and sneak a peek. So now we'll go down here see where it leads us if you're not following us on instagram i'm doing stories real time just walking along we got these really funny looking mushrooms there like It's lovely to see wild mushrooms. As I always say, it would be great to know yeah. what they are. Are they edible? Are they non edible? But if in doubt, never eat a mushroom that you don't know what it is because they can be immensely toxic. What's really strange is when we had a house with a lot like a loads of bookshelves, I remember picking up a foraging book. Yeah. And I sold it at a car boot sale. So if you're the person that bought a foraging book, <laughs> you're back now. <laughs> Although the mushrooms here are probably different from back home. Okay, so it says lower falls that way, yeah. upper falls that way, and then I think there's a path that connects them. Oh. So we should start at the top and go to the lowest, because yeah. if we start at the lowest to go to the top, our legs, oh, our legs might ache and yeah. we might be tired. Yeah, we might talk ourselves out of it. <laughs> so upper falls, we're coming this way. Yeah. I love walking through the forest. Isn't this absolutely peaceful? It smells really earthy and... Slightly damp. Yeah. Strathcona Park is uh, actually the biggest park in BC. I would imagine that uh, during the summer, this place would be absolutely heaving with tourists, but uh, being autumn, there's hardly anybody here. So I'd much prefer to come out of season. So I think that's the path that connects to the lower falls and this must be going up to the viewpoint. I think that's logical. That makes sense. Makes sense. And we're following the river down there. I would imagine in the summer you can go swimming in it. It's a little bit fresh today to do that. We're not feeling quite that brave. Here you go. This must be the viewing point. Oh. All the pools down there. Look at that. Wonderful with the light just hitting it. And then, oh, what you got, Marianne? Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Look at the water. It's like, like that glassier blue, isn't it? It really is crystal clear. I hope the camera is picking up on this. And that is a pretty powerful waterfall there. And then it flows down this side. And look down there. It goes into another pool, and that's the lower falls looking up and then down into the lake. Okay, we're heading down to the lower falls. I'm loving this.
we just caught a glimpse of a uh, a bird it looked like a wild turkey or something well it could fly because it's just flown up into the tree somewhere <laughs> Please. The bright red. And the ferns. Everything's just turning. It's such a special time of the year. There you go, guys. We made it to the bottom falls. Wow. This has to be one of the best views ever, isn't it? it Look at there, that. We'd be in that pool. I, uh, like I said, I bet in the summer people go swimming there. Uh, that's the upper falls where we were just now. Stunning. So we're just going to walk down these rocks. What an amazing structure. Wow. Yeah, look at that tree. Well, that's definitely warmed us up. I know. Wasn't that absolutely amazing? So yeah, Strathcona Park is a huge place for hikers. So if you're into hiking, definitely come here. There's hikes like that, which is short, and there's really long hikes. Julia says spend at least a day or two here to explore the park. But that's our little, little snippet of uh, Strathcona Park. <laughs> I think we better give JB a bit of a queen, my sweetness. Oh, I think She's looking a bit grubby. She's adventure ready. And we can't give her back to Aunt Julia looking like this after she so kindly lent us her van. Definitely grubby. Okay, so before we leave Campbell River, we've come to, down to get a takeout coffee from Fog Dunker's Coffee and Roastery. And uh, this is a place that Clint said, if you want a coffee for the road, this is definitely where you should come. Isn't that cool? And they've got a lovely seating area here right by the waterfront. The bigger, the better. <laughs> Apparently you have the best coffee in town, we were told. We do. And the nicest staff. And the nicest staff. Oh, I'm feeling the love. <laughs> I hope the whales come by for you. Uh, we've seen orcas. We've been they, lucky. Yeah, we have been really lucky with the orcas. Yeah. Well, they're coming up to get the salmon. Are you seeing them daily here? Are you? Yeah, really? and in the evening, the seagulls are going crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, a bunch of them. Yeah. So. This is the coolest little coffee shop. It is very cool. Thank you. Yeah, we just threw it together with duct tape and prayers. I love that. Duct tape and prayers, prayers works. Yeah. And a smile. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> and my face is towards the customers. There you go. <laughs> I'm loving that. We there for a reason. <laughs> so right, we live in a camper van and our mirror is about that big for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I, I never look at it. <laughs> Are we saving turtles or trees? We're saving turtles. Every time it's someone says on no to a, a straw or oh, something, yeah. you're single, that's good. you stuff You've got paper lids. lids. That's very and cool. And everything else. I'm loving that. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What? Not a bad view. <laughs> good recommendation, Clint and Linda. And the coffee is delicious. Mmm. Hello. Hello, we're back. We're back from our adventure. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, nice shirt, Julia. 
<laughs> we had a great time in JB. JB is in perfect condition oh. and we didn't go on any dodgy roads at all. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> of course we went on dodgy roads. <laughs> well, semi dodgy roads. <laughs> but, but you'll be pleased to know JB's all fine. Oh. And we washed her. <laughs> She's had a spring clean. We're back to Duncan. We've made it back. JB is a little bit messy. <laughs> so we uh, we got to empty this now into Trudy, get all the beds set back up. Marianne's just going over there to pick Trudy up. And uh, oh, what a wonderful adventure around the island. So we are going to leave it there. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs>